Hello guys, today I brought different types of OD so that you can get a feel how the solution of OD changes with time for different situations. Simultaneously, I will tell you the type and name of OD and effect of initial conditions and various parameters. My aim is to make you expert of solving any kind of OD. So I'll introduce different kind of OD and provide you the solutions of different OD. And also I'll give the code in a description box from where you can download and run it and convince yourself. And also my further tutorials will contain MATLAB demonstration. And uh, in MATLAB demonstration, I'll compare Mathematica and MATLAB and I'll uh, let you know the accuracy how accuracy changes from Mathematica to MATLAB or how the accuracy can be increased Okay, so let us quickly move to the Mathematica and solve different ODEs Okay, so uh, Here I took first damned harmonic oscillator that you have already done and you are expert in solving damned harmonic oscillator It is called as damped because it has a C which is the uh, drag coefficient also This is basically depend on viscosity on the medium and second is damned harmonic oscillator with constant external force Here instead of uh, zero in the right hand side I'll give a numerical value in the right hand side and also the difference between uh, homogeneous and non-homogeneous is you need not to provide any initial velocity initial displacement and initial velocities in in case of the damned harmonic oscillator that is a homogeneous uh, second order od you'll have to provide either initial position or initial uh, or either initial velocity okay and uh, third case is damned harmonic oscillator and also non homogeneous second order od with periodic external force instead of a numerical value we will give a periodic value whose magnitude will be denoted by a and you will see the difference between uh, the, the difference of outputs of different equations okay and uh, another thing is uh, uh, this is the another type of equation is damned harmonic oscillator homogeneous second order OD and this is and particularly we will solve Matthew equation okay this this type of equation uh, is called as Matthew equation because here it is uh, zero in the right hand side but we are we are providing a cos omega t with a displacement term so your displacement will be modulated by cos omega t okay and last one is a wonder pole equation we, we are going to take this particular example. This is basically famous in a literature and anywhere you can find the literature of this wonderful os uh, oscillator equation. Okay, so let me quickly run all the cases. So we'll first uh, quit all the kernel. To quit the kernel, we'll go to evaluate and click on quit and go to local and quit the kernel. Okay. So there is no initial stored values, uh, no initial uh, defined constants. Okay, let me run the first case. I'm taking the first case, homogeneous second order differential equation and also damned harmonic oscillator. Okay, simply press shift enter to run it. Okay, you got uh, the response of displacement with respect to time. Here you can see your oscillations are decaying and the decay is because of see I, I already explained all those things in my previous uh, tutorials okay basically the notable thing is that here you can see uh, the uh, oscillations are around the mean zero okay so as soon as you uh, make it non-homogeneous so it is one your oscillations will be shifted from zero to one let's run it and check it okay so here you can see the mean of oscillation is one and the decay will be uh, because of c this property kept constant okay so if i'll give a uh, variable uh, periodic force then what will happen okay just see i'll again run this code so in this particular case you you can see several in enveloping frequencies instead of uh, natural frequencies okay so your uh, natural frequencies are modulated by this cos omega t let's uh, move to the equation this type of equation when it is homogeneous actually it is homogeneous because rhs is zero and the cos omega t is multiplied with displacement term so uh, something similar response you you will observe but frequencies will be different because i kept 
the om omega as a one here just for the demonstration purpose you can change omega i'll uh, as i have mentioned that the code will be available in the description box you can run and convince okay you can see several um, these enveloping frequencies are, are also there uh, along with natural frequencies so natural frequencies and also and the enveloping frequencies are together natural frequencies because if cos omega t is if cos omega t is absent then the frequency of oscillations will be unnatural if you artificially introduced any frequency then uh, this frequency modulate your natural frequency and combined frequency will be called as secular frequency sometimes it is called an enveloping frequency that's all i already, already explained in my previous tutorials this is just a quick review of uh, different kind of different uh, different kind of differential equation just to give you a feel that you can solve any kind of uh, second order differential equation okay so in a particular case let's move to the wonderful equation i haven't uh, ever uh, told you about this equation although i mentioned this equ uh, previous equation when your uh, natural oscillations are modulated by artificial frequency then this particular type of equation is called as matthew equation which is very famous and uh, yes if time will permit then i'll uh, take one lecture on matthew equation it it, it is very interesting equation and uh, it has very great implications uh, i have also uploaded few uh, videos regarding droplet levitation so in that dro droplet levitation you will see the dynamics of a drop is governed by Matthew equation only. So you, you can get the answers of, may, of many things that I asked in my video. Okay, let's move to the wonderful oscillator. Here I kept uh, M as a one and uh, instead of C I used here mu and A is also one. You can introduce, it, it's your choice. And let me run it you see the response of this wonderful oscillators so basically uh, you can solve any kind of od depending on uh, the situation you need you you need to remember when to give initial velocity and initial position particularly so the key point is in case of homogeneous differential equation you you'll have to prescribe any any initial uh, parameter that is velocity or displacement in case of non-homogeneous uh, you need not to provide any velocity or any initial displacements okay because the force will be the force will be zero in case of the homogeneous equation if you won't provide initial velocity or initial position then your force will be zero this is basically y double dash is a force term this force will be zero because at time t is equal to zero if time t is equal to zero your initial position is zero suppose initial position is zero at time t is equal to zero and initial velocity is zero at time t is equal to zero then your force will directly be equals to zero okay your force will directly be equals to zero okay in this particular case it may not be zero because it has one constant extra term let us take this example if you uh, at time t is equal to zero uh, let me go to this equation this is better to demonstrate if you if you keep uh, y is equal uh, y displacement at time t is equal to 0 equal to 0 and velocity at time t is equal to 0 equal to 0 then you can see here at time t is equal to 0 your your velocity is 0 and your position is 0 then your force y double dash t this is force term will also be equals to 0 so and in case of uh, non-homogeneous equation if you are not providing any initial position or initial velocity so you can see that if at time t equal to zero, position is zero if at time t equal to zero, velocity is zero then your force will have at least one constant value so force is not going to be zero okay so this is the that that is the reason why you need not to provide any initial position or initial velocity in case of the non-homogeneous equations okay so in the next tutorial i'll bring the comparison of mathematica and matlab i'll tell you the several ways uh, more than 20, 10 ways to solve ODEs in matlab with different accuracy okay so uh, thanks for watching and listening me uh, i'll request you to subscribe my videos it actually gives me a motivation thank you so much